So next up at 52 kilos, Manuel Capai against Dimitro Zamotayev. Gonzalez. Zamotayev, bronze of the European Championships. Italy in the red. Dimitro Zamotayev of Ukraine in the blue. Two orthodox fighters. Zamotayev immediately looking to try and double up on the jab. Rushing in and throwing the right hand. Zamotayev has taken the centre of the ring, it's Kapai who's moving around the outside, around the periphery of it. Good right hand there from Kapai. Zamotso finding it difficult to get to Kapai at the minute. Kapai's the one landing more than the Ukraine, and he's coming in from distance from the outside. He's got the advantage really in terms of reach, and he's using it. He's keeping a big gap between the two of them. Zamotso is finding it difficult to get into the kind of range that he needs to be at. Zamotsev's not the best at cutting off the ring, he's just tending to follow Kapai around a bit. He's been barreled into the ropes there. He's got to be a bit more intelligent about this, Zamotsev, I think. He's trying to walk Kapai down. Kapai's movement is good. Good opening round there for the Italian, who's in red. Zamotso with Ukraine in blue. Zamotsev of Ukraine in blue, and Kapai of Italy in red. And Zamotsev at the start of the second round already. Come out with a, a bit more purpose. That's a good jab there from Kapai. He's caught him with it two or three times there. And Zamotsev may well have renewed vigor, but he's got to try and find a way of getting to Kapai. He didn't find a way of getting to him in that opening round. Kapai's movement was, was good. He's, at punching 
on the move, throws that jab well. And Zamato is still struggling really to, to get into range, quite simply. So Southpaw there briefly, Capayan flicked out the jab, lead right hand. Jab. Didn't really look to try and land that jab. Uppercut on the inside as well. It's good stuff from the Italians. Motsev is just lacking the ring craft, really, to get to him, to be honest, which is a bit surprising when you consider he won the bronze at the World Championships a couple of years ago. But he's barely put a glove on Kapai, to be honest, in this fight so far. Not a meaningful blow, anyway. Kapai switching between stances. Nice and fluidly. <laughs> oh, it goes to the end of the second round, and that's two in the books for the man in red. I don't think there can be any doubt about that. bit of success there for Zamotov. Good one to Kapai. Third and final round and Zamotov, the man in blue there we're looking at, needs to do an awful lot in this final round for me to turn it around. Smoothly. It's been told by the referee that Kapai not to swim through 360 degrees, not something that anybody ever does deliberately. It's not so again. Trying to find a way. Fell short. South fourth from Capai. Good right hand up the middle. Zamotoyev. Kapai trying to thrust that uppercut up the middle again. Yeah. 
into the final minute. Nice one, two again there from Kapai, just crunched through the guard. there from Zamotti. have 10 seconds to go. Italian again just punching with that right hand on the move. Just caught the man with the inside of the glove there. Bell goes, touch of gloves between the two and that's a really good performance from Manuel Capai. Bossed it from beginning to end. Good movement and kept his man on the end of that jab right hand. Boxed very nicely, and he'll be through to the next round to face Galanov. Tell me, Galanov of Russia, who we just seen. Kapai gets it by unanimous decision. That's what